That was kind of cool. Okay. Yes. Give me both of those at the start, please. I need those. I'm gonna get the wooden bucklers here. I was hoping for space. I got my space. Nice. Not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. Hello, Pyromancer. I see you are also getting your shovel. Congratulations. I will probably lose this, though. Or not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Stamina. Hey. W. It's round two. It's round two. Jesus. I will take that. I will take that. Thank you very much. Round two? And a healing herb on sale? Jesus Christ. Oh, this should carry us for a good little minute. Honestly. Um, pass. Yes. I should probably get the other healing herb too, right? Just stack as many healing herbs as possible. Yeah. That's probably smart. Ooh, let me get that too. Let me get that on sale. Let me get that on sale. I think that'd be great. Look at that. Hey, garlic, stop it. Can't have that happening. That is bad. So is our stamina, but that's okay. That's okay. We're not a pyromancer. Okay, we don't really need stamina like that. We do it, but we don't. Box of riches. I will take you. Yeah. I'm gonna roll with you. There goes a goober. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, we definitely get that goober. I said we get the fanny pack too. Get the goober, get the fanny pack. Let's move this up so that you have a purpose. Um, let's do that. You can go there and honestly, you can go anywhere. You don't really matter. All too much. Alternatively, I could put the blueberries inside of the storage coffin, but I think the wooden buckler activates a little bit more. Unless you're going against someone with one weapon, then maybe not. But maybe it's okay. I, s I say we win this. Yeah. Good game. Good game. Jesus. All right. Let's get you. Let's get you. Definitely going to get that blueberry, but I want to just reset for a second here since we got this bad boy now. Um, yeah, we got a fanny pack, so weapons are gonna go on this side. Boom. Boom. Probably make this better. Do a little situation like that, so that the Hungry Blade is also affected by the fanny pack. We got two Arlix, bro. That's Poison Goober. Easily. But that's not what we're doing here. So, what we're gonna do is... I think we do that. With that guy. Don't really have a purpose for the Gloves of Haste, though, which is unfortunate, because it's using up space. Definitely need to utilize both of the healing herbs and maybe just one of the healing Arlix. Alternatively, I could probably sell both of the Arlix plus this to get the cap, which I want the cap. I think we're doing that. Most of my DPS doesn't come from poison anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna get the cap and we'll reserve the blueberry and we'll roll with that. I think that'd be good. Tuscan poker, dangerous, plus a poisoning dagger, not really. No, I don't really care about a poison dagger, but the Tuscan poker, I, 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 I care about that because of the spikes, which is hurting us a lot. And I think we lose. I promise you, yeah, most of that damage came from spikes. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, I stand correct. It came from poison. Never mind. I've been humbled. I know, wow. I'll take that. Thank you. Definitely getting the dagger card. I need space. I forgot it gave me another card when you did that. I don't think it was a card that I wanted though, so that's good. I, I should probably choose corrupted armor or stone armor. I want stone armor, but I want space, so I'm passing on both of those. I say we just take this space, honestly. Probably take that blueberry too. We could get rid of the shield, replace it with the blueberry. Give me more money for the. Fanny pack as well. Some more space. We can put the fanny. I want to put it here, but I don't think that's a good choice. So I think I'm just going to put it here. Well, actually, I could put it here and just get rid of that. That way my shovel can still go down. Because it's so big, fat, juicy. And we can do this, that, 
Um, regions can go here. Finally, you have a purpose. That can go there, and that can go there. Nice. I think that was better. <laughs> Ugh, disgusting. I mean, at least he's not gonna have stamina. So there's that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. My vampirism is putting in work. I love it. Helping out with my survivability. And he can't hit me because he has no stamina. So that's a good game. Thank you. I need both of those. Let me get you. Yes. Oh my god. Ace of Spades is a yes too. Actually. You know what? Maybe we don't go Ace of Spades. Maybe we can rely. We have so many blueberries. Maybe we can rely on the blueberries for clovers. Instead of the Ace of Spades. Maybe. Maybe one would be good. What is this? A 1.7? This will hit twice. Right? Because this takes... I think it's 1.5 seconds. So let's take 1.5 seconds to reveal itself. Ah. I'm going to take this. I got to watch the battle closely and see what happens. We don't really need you anymore because you're going to go in here. Probably not going to get an ore proc. So I say we just turn that into a thirsty. Roll. Space huge. We needed that space so much. All right, I'm just going to turn you into a mana thirst. And we're just going to do that. Nice. All right, I need a blood goober ASAP now. That would be great. Very, very great. Going against a pan with a lot of food on it. I know he's looking for that. I know he's looking for that Excalibur. I know he's looking for that Excalibur. He hasn't found himself a stamina potion yet. Woo! We take that home, though. We take those. Good game. Good game. Let's get the witch. Another blueberry. Another hungry blade. Yes. And please. That couldn't have gone any better. Really. Let's move you. Thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I want that DJ lamp. You would be good too. I think I'm gonna pass on everything though. Yeah, I'm passing on everything. I'm rolling here. I don't need you. We already got three. I don't need a fourth. Roll. Space? We need that. <laughs> I need space too. But that's an like easy stone armor, so we take that for sure. Um, biggest DPS here is probably going to be Hungry Blade, so we're going to move that. And then, which means we also should put the Mystic Struggles on the Hungry Blade, because that's going to be our biggest DPS. Dude. Um, blueberries, do we need? We're not going to get a proc from the blueberries. And we're not utilizing the clovers, except for accuracy, I guess, from the blueberries. But we already got two. Don't really care to put those on the play. Um, I'll put you there. I mean, poison is whatever. We could sell the poison. Actually, yeah. Let's get you. We could sell both of you plus the stone. To get enough money to buy this guy. For a stone helmet upgrade. That's perfect. And then we just put everything else wherever it wants to go. Which, honestly, we could just put the blueberries in the play. Doesn't really matter. It's not like they're hurting us, so. <laughs> what do we got here? Death Scythe with, a, with the poison potion. It's all the poison you're probably going to be putting on me. And there goes my vamp. And we'll probably win due to healing from vampirism, more than likely. We'll take that home. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, we'll take you. I'm going to roll without you because I need a specific, very specific item right now. I take both of these. Definitely. Fuck. Um... I need this for the for the moon armor, but I also need a mana ore for the proccing. We can get a mana ore to proc now, which pretty much makes our build better. So we need that to happen. We don't really need you. I'm putting you there. You can go there and all of you can go there. We'll probably rotate this to utilize you, but I really need that specific item. Still didn't show up, but I will take him in struggles. So let's rotate you. 
You can go there. Let's not combine. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. Boom. Boom. We have five blueberries. It's crazy. Boom. All right. That's looking... That's looking okay to me. Looking okay. No dragons. Great. I love it. It just daggers. I think we win. More than likely. I think you die before we get an orb. Oh, never mind. We get that orb proc. Got 11 vampires in there, which is beautiful. Honestly, we don't really need two of these. So I'm gonna just take the one that's on sale. <sighs> Give me the item. I need it. I'll take that. No! Not even a blood goober, bro. It's crazy. Let's switch you out just to do that. Just want this to look a little bit better. That's all. That's all. That does not look a little bit better. It's whatever. Um, it's going to be hard to proc these. So I put it here or something. Or I guess I could tilt you like that. That would work. That leaves that space there. But then again, the fanny packs are here, right? So let's probably just do this. Let's do that. Let's replace those two. Do this. Probably better. Um, let's get a combo there and we will sell you. Yeah. I think that'll be good. I think that'll be good. Hopefully I can give me another mana ore, but what I really want is a blood amulet. Or actually I want two blood amulets. Rocking now. Boom! That worked very well. Good game. All right, game. Give me what I want. You did give me an orb. I, I thank you for that. There's just something else that I want. That. Perfect. Okay. We need our moon armor now. Um, I don't want to combine those. Separate is better. This is faster. Was that 3.5, 3.5? I say we do this. Um, hands can go there. You could go here. It's not a bad spot. We'll do that. Reserve you for space. Let's see what happens. All right. This person should last long, too. They have a really good sustained build. The question is, are we going to last long? Or are they going to kill us before then? Let's see. They have garlics, though. Garlics are removing our vampirism. That is bad. That is very, 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 very bad. Proc incoming, though. Boom. It's maximum half is freaking 230. Definitely going to be able to get another proc here. This battle is lasting long enough. Nice proc. Give me that vamp. Give me that vamp. Oh, it's giving us clovers. I didn't think about that. Crap. It's giving us more clovers than anything. And we can't really utilize our clovers for anything except for accuracy, I guess. <laughs> Interesting. Good game, though. Is there anything I can do against the clovers? I guess more misfortunes, because those are the only things that use the clovers. I'll buy this. I could just sell it later. <laughs> or I could use it for increased uh, amplified healing. Actually, wait, it's the blueberries. We have too many blueberries. We just don't have that many blueberries. We don't get that many clovers. And this thing doesn't generate us more clovers. It'll just generate us 
vampirism, I believe. So what I'm gonna do is probably just sell like three blueberries. Sell three blueberries. Uh, we'll put you there for the more amplified healing. Let's roll. Definitely getting that. No brainer. Get that now, actually. Sell you, sell you, buy you. And I suppose we'll see how this goes and we'll see what happens next round. <laughs> Let's see. We shouldn't get that many clovers now. We should still get clovers, but just not as many as we were getting before. At least that's the that's the plan. We're going against a hammer. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what the fuck? A hammer, a poison dagger, a curse dagger, a rapier, and a pananomium. All walked into a bar. What happened? Did we already get an orb proc? We're losing, by the way. Give me more vampirism. Give me more vampirism. Yes, give me all the vampirism that you can muster so we don't lose. Nice. I need a blood goober. I need a blood goober and I need it now. I can get a combination now. Just gonna buy that. Another orb. I don't need another orb. Yeah, I definitely don't need another orb. I'll get you out. Corrupted armor. Uh, I'll take you, actually. I will take you. You are being took. Next round. Just so we can put that orb somewhere. It'll generate us more mana, which is going to be good. Oh, my God. That's a perfect ruby. Wow. This is going to be a hard dude to kill. Let's see what happens. The good thing is at the beginning of the game, Misfortune uh, from the Clovers gives us the regeneration. Because regeneration is the biggest thing we have. Which then leads to us having more vampirism. Like right now. So now it's going to generate us even more vampirism. Two vampirism right there. Maybe get another two. Nope. Now we're going to get mana. So now we got to wait for another orb proc to get even more vampirism. More than likely. On the bright side, he's not in berserker mode. So all this time we have to just build up our buffs. Boom. Now we're going to get even more vamp. We need more misfortunes for sure. <laughs> We need, like, at least another one. At least one more misfortune would go a long way. And a blood goober. Because we could benefit from this vampirism a lot more if we were to have a blood goober in the, in the, in the field. There's a lot of uh, re, re, uh, vampirism, though. Oh, crap. Are we going to lose? Jesus Christ. We had that in the bag. He has seven health. That's okay, though. That's okay. It's okay. Let's get you. I'm going to put you right... I'm actually gonna put you somewhere else, but I'm gonna buy you two. Put you right here. Boom, boom, boom. You go there. You can go there. Give me a moon armor, please. That'll work. And you can go just go there. She's gonna tilt you. You can go there, actually. That'll be a great spot for you there um i guess we'll get a combination and then this will just go into hungry blade afterwards yeah that'll be good give me a lot more mana holy holy fortunas wow that is a crazy clover build kurt's about to go crazy on us He's also got a bird getting rid of our clovers. That's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Big proc right there. I mean, so far we're tied, so it's a, it's a good battle so far. Our healing is nice. Another ore proc. Massive. Building up that vampirism. Give me some more. I definitely need another misfortune. And a blood goober. You're out of stamina? I don't even have a shield. Crazy. Good game. We'll take that. Boo! Let me get you. Roll. Again? Yes. 
beautiful. Where am I putting you? I don't know. But I'm putting that there. Something's faster than this, though. Um, you. 2.5 versus 3. I'd rather have the 2.5. Which means you're probably just going to go there. What other magic items do I have? Just this guy? Okay, that works. Um, you can go there. I have three caps. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Yeah, no one's critting on me. That's probably what happened in that battle. They just couldn't crit on me. <laughs> I should probably get this Corrupted Crystal. We got four rounds. Let's get the Corrupted Crystal. Could probably give me a Stone Armor too if I really want it. How much money I'm getting? 15. Maybe 17. That'll be enough money. Shit, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's get both of those next round. Oh. Okay. That's going to be a lot of increase in DPS. All right. Let's see what happens here. Taking no damage from the start because all my caps. I'll take that. Thank you. Shooting rating my mana. With my vampy vamp. Nice orb proc. A little bit more vampirism. Thank you. Thank you. It's looking pretty even so far. Nice. Another proc. Let's go. That's a W. Hit this man. Oh, he comes back to life. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just going to heal right back with you, brother. That's fine with me. That's perfect. Give me that vamp healing. 26. There we go. Massive W. We'll take that. Buy you, buy you. I might as well buy Miss Struggles. Considering. We need space. I haven't seen a single blood amulet this entire time. We're doing this without a blood goober, by the way. We could be doing way better with a blood goober. Way better with a blood goober. Disgustingly better with a blood goober. Unfathomably better with a blood goober. Three stone helmets! I already bought the corrupted crystal. But I could have. Honestly could have. Let's uh We don't really need jewels anymore. I mean, I got like decent jewels. Not the best, but I like. I, don't, I really don't think we need jewels. I really think we need a blood blood amulet like ASAP. So I'm gonna sell that. No blood amulet. I am sad. Blue gems and armor. <laughs> I feel like Blood Amulet is just a better cop at this moment. You are right, though. Blue Gems and Star Armor would be very nice, considering the amount of armor. I mean, uh, mana that we're gaining. Very, very nice, but I really want a Blood Goober. And I also want Vampiric Gloves. I don't think I really need the Vampiric Gloves too much, but I do want that Blood Goober. Blood Goober make this build so much better. So freaking much better. On the shitty side, we're going to get someone with four cheeses. He looks like me when I used to do that. He's also got that spikes going on for him. So this guy is going to be dangerous. Very dangerous. But it's given us time to build up our buffs, which is great. And plus, we're removing his buff that he's building up with both of our um, persons, which is even better. But he's about to go into Berserk because of Fatigue. On the bright side, we got 20, vamp or 20 Vampirism on our side. So that's really, really good. There we go. So now he's going to be generating a shit ton of mana. As long as we can heal. Hopefully heal. Ah, it's not working. It's not working. Damn it. So close. Kind of close. Now we had a blood goober, you know. That would have been different. Just saying. Would have been different. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to buy you. I'm going to roll. Give me the blood amulet. Thank you so fucking much. Oh my, you'd have no idea how long I've waited for that. I might as well get this. It's on sale. But oh, we got a freaking cap of discomfort, stone helmet, double stone helmet, cap of discomfort. It's freaking crazy. Versus a poison build. Let's see how, oh my god, a perfect sapphire with double mana orbs. And he's, uh, he's got that inside his, uh, his helmet, too. His armor generation is going to be crazy. Plus, he's got the corrupted uh, crystal in that. Yeah, his armor generation is going to be crazy. And we have nothing to negate. 
Actually, we kind of have this reflection of two debuffs, but he's going to put on a lot of poison on us. Definitely. This is... We're not getting through that armor. I think we lose this. There's no way we can heal all that poison. Oh, that hurts so much. Yeah, we're dead on the next. Yep. Yeah. Insane. That's okay, though. Boom! Because we got the freaking Blood Goober now, okay? We got Blood Goober, which means everything is safe. Honestly, I should buy you. I'm gonna buy you. All right, everything is saved. Everything is fine. We're putting you here. This can go. Honestly, this wouldn't be a bad spot. I can also move you down by one. Put you there. It's even better. Imagine. Oh, wait, I can't do that. <laughs> Hey, there we go. There's the build. That's the freaking build. And it looks kind of pretty. Here's how it works. The idea of the build is that you generate mana to get a mana orb proc. While you're at low mana, because of the mana orb proc, your giraffes are generating you more vampirism, which benefits your blood goober, the mana thirst, and hungry blade all at the same time. And then they switch places and you start generating more mana because your mana is going to overcome your vampirism as far as numbers go and then you get another mana or proc and then the cycle just repeats so it's like a flip-flop between mana generation and vampirism generation when it comes to the misfortunes and your clover generation is coming from the mana or procs along with your blueberries give you clovers when you get over 10 mana which is very often um that and then you start off with the two at the start of the game which these two at the start of the game is going to give you more regeneration because regeneration is going to be the most amount of buffs that you're going to have at the start of the game because of the healing herbs which means you're going to start with more vampirism while you're beating up mana with your mana ores because this is going to convert that regeneration into vampirism um and yeah that's pretty much how the build works moon armor is here just to gain even more mana you got double mana orb Plus the mana thirst giving you mana, plus the uh, the blue gems giving you mana. So everything looks beautiful. I wonder if it's better if I could just do that. <laughs> just for the more Arama game versus the more mana generation. Because we got that big boy right there. So I think that is better. I think I'd rather take that. If we got enough stun and crit resist. I think we probably just make this guy faster. And we'll go with that. And we're going to slow this down. Oh, no. You just had to be horrible. You just had to have two freaking chain whips of buff stealing or taking, removing. I mean, removing, buff removing. Knowing I'm a buff build, all I do is gain buffs. That's my purpose in life is the gainage of buffs. But at least this time we have the blood goober. But if we don't have any vampirism at the start, it's going to suck. At least the orb proccing is going to give us vampirism. So that's there. Which you just did. We got seven right now. Run out of stamina. You have two stamina potions and three flutes. Jesus Christ. He's not he's definitely not running out of stamina. And he's taking all our buffs. Which is sucky. But we're still making it work though. We are also taking his buffs. <laughs> we're taking each other's buffs. No one's having buffs this build. At all. But at least, I mean, we, we managed to have seven, seven vampirism. Might be able to have a little bit more because of the mana or proc, whatever that happens. 42 damage on me is crazy. They increase in damage the more buffs they take from you. <laughs> They're both at 50 damage right now, bro. This is like my kryptonite. And he wasn't even in berserker mode. Fifty-two, fifty-three. 52, 57. Worst dude to go against. This is the kryptonite of this build. Worst fucking dude to go against. They gain more damage the more buffs they take from you. And my build is buffs. Worst build to go against, I swear. Oh, now you're out. And now you're out of stamina. Now you're out of stamina. And you're about to hit me and probably kill me. 
Oh, you missed. And then I healed. And then you hit me. Can I win, please? Can I please win? Fuck. <laughs> Worst person to go. Who who uses chain whip? Who uses this item? And two of them at that. Including this to remove a random buff from your opponent. What? It's like literally the kryptonite build. It's literally the perfect build to go against to kill you. And we still almost won. That's the same insane part about it. he had three flutes two upgraded stamina potions he had two chain whips one with a flawless amethyst the other with a chip he has an 80 a 85 percent chance to remove a random buff from me and a 100 percent chance on hit to remove two random buffs from me insane and he heals for eight during battle rage every hit that is Insane. Insane. How much mana did you remove for me? He actually didn't remove that much mana. Seven, six. I guess like all of us overall, he probably removed like a lot of buffs for me. What about vampirism? Six, six, and three. Wowzers. Freaking. Oh, that's not even the end of the battle. Oh, oh my God. I thought we were at the end. How much mana did you remove? Probably just 776 at the end. Okay. But still. Worst build to go against. Kryptonite. This is a really cool build, though. I fuck with this build. Heavy. I really do like this build. I like how it flips flops. Like, one moment you're generating vampirism, the next moment you're generating mana to get that mana orb proc. Vampirism helps out all of your weapons, plus the blood goober. I, I genuinely... Another build that I do like is this one. Pretty freaking cool. This is a really, really cool build. Really cool. I enjoy this one 